everyone, my name is Marissa Miller. I am a CSUMB student service learning with Monterey County Free Libraries this fall. And for Maker Monday, we are going to be making a spectroscope. So what is a spectroscope? A spectroscope is basically any device where if you shine light into one end, out the other end, it will shine a whole rainbow of colors. It's really fun, pretty, and you can test this out with all different types of light. So for today, the materials we need to use to build a spectroscope are an empty paper towel roll, a piece of cardboard or cardstock, I just got one off the end of an old folder I don't need anymore, scissors or craft uh, knife, tape, a pencil, and a blank CD or an old CD that you don't need anymore. Even if it's scratched up, it should work. Just make sure that it doesn't have anything important on it so you're not getting rid of a CD with some inf important information on it. So the first step is you're going to make a cut in the paper towel roll that's at like a 45 degree angle and make sure that from the bottom it is facing up, wait no, down, yeah facing down. <laughs> okay I actually made the same mistake earlier. I actually cut in the wrong direction but even if you make a mistake it's fine because you can just flip it around and do it on the other end and it's not going to make a difference. So facing 45 degree angle downwards, uh, like that, you're just going to cut a little ways in, and not, not all the way through to the other side or anything, just maybe like halfway. Also, um, since this is with scissors, uh, if, you're, if you need a parent or guardian or older sibling to do this step for you, to totally just ask them. So now we've got our first slit. So for the next step, directly across from where we just cut on the other end, right across from there, we're going to make another cut. And this time it's going to be uh, just a normal, uh, not in, in any fancy degree or anything, just right, just make a little, because this is going to be our peephole for viewing. So not just cut, but also like maybe like cut out a little square. So it's not just a cut, but like you're making a peephole for viewing. So I am trying to figure this out. It might take a minute. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I am making a well, close enough to a rectangle hole, sort of. And that will be our viewing hole for the spectroscope. So for our next step, we are going to use the cardboard or cardstock and the pencil, and we're going to trace the shape of the paper towel roll right around the circle shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, just get a good idea of the shape. I have to be a little generous there. And we're going to cut this out. We're going to cut out this circle. And uh, honestly, you can be a, you can um, be a little generous and cut an edge around it. It doesn't have to be perfectly the same shape. Might even be better if you give it a little bit of room around it, like I'm not cutting the exact shape, I am just cutting a little bit around it, because we are going to use this as sort of a cap to one end. We're going to tape it over one end of the paper towel roll, and you will see why in a moment. So there we have our little circle. And next, we are going to cut another slit in this one. So it might help to fold it a little bit so you can get a good uh, cut angle in. And again, if you need an older sibling or a parent or guardian to help with scissors, just ask for some help. So see there, and then I just have to, then you just have to um, cut out the shape of this. It's a little tricky, but you'll get there. Ah. 
might even be easier just to rip it, which is what I'm doing. It doesn't have to look pretty. All right, there we go. Little peephole again. So as for which end of the paper towel roll, you just, um, whichever end is the one where you've cut out the peephole, it's going on the far opposite end, so like on the top, on the top of it. And you're going to just tape it right on with some tape. This is why making a bit of an edge might help, because if it's uh, if you cut it too thin, it there might be some holes on the edges, and you want to make sure this is the this is really the only hole where light can come in. So now I'm just going to tape it. You might have to readjust if it's not quite where you want it to be, you can totally readjust that, like I'm doing. It's a bit of an awkward angle to tape down, but just use as much tape as you need. about good so as you can see not the prettiest but it's just to make sure that it does the job and that will be where the light comes in so next we will use the CD and slide it right into where you cut the 45 degree angle and slide it right in or as best as you can and if you find that the original cut you didn't make wasn't deep enough, you can always like cut a little more. I think this should probably be good, and we'll see for ourselves when we go outside and test it. So now that we're outside, we can test our new spectroscope. So a quick note before you start, just make sure do not look directly into the sunlight. Just angle the spectroscope into the general direction until you can see a rainbow reflected in the CD through the people. You will see what I mean. So I'm going to try it out now. I'm going to angle until I get towards the sun and I can see a bit of a rainbow. There we go. It's a little difficult to film it through my video camera, but I will try to show you what I mean. You can see a little rainbow reflected in there. Yay! <laughs> So that is it. That is how we make a spectroscope. And it's a really fun, really educational little craft. You can learn about the light spectrum, how different types of light will reflect in the CD. And uh, you can test this out with all sorts of different types of light. It doesn't have to be just sunlight. It could be indoor lighting. It could be colored lighting. And if it's colored lighting, not all the colors of the rainbow are going to show up. And it's uh, you can discover for yourself what colors do show up. It'll be really interesting to experiment with it. Thank you so much for joining me for this Maker Monday. And I hope you have fun learning about the light spectrum. Bye!